fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. If it's Tuesday the 5th of November 2024. Remember, remember the 5th of November. There's nothing new under the sun, my grandmother would often say to me. She was born in the year 1900 and lived through two world wars before dying at the age of 94. And what she meant was... Younger generations often think they've invented something new, but of course, it's often been done before. For example, every generation thinks they've invented sex. Although, if contemporary newspaper reports are to be believed, the current young generation might have invented lack of sex. Younger countries can be like younger generations. I remember the bicentennial celebrations for the US in the 1970s and thinking, 200 years? My school's older than that. But America thinks it invented democracy. It's always telling the rest of the world that it was the first democracy, despite the evidence of many other countries and civilizations having democracy before America appeared on the Mayflower's horizon. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Recently, a group of Catholics and their allies on the Supreme Court have tried to decree that a president is immune from prosecution for illegal acts, thereby making him an absolute monarch. They hope their man, King Fat Donny I, will be restored to power and institute a ban on abortions among many other religious-based edicts. The MAGA supporters of King Fat Donny have, provo- have proved that they're willing to commit any violent acts to restore their man to power. They're ready for gunpowder, treason and plot. There's nothing new under the sun. If Americans can be bothered to cast their eyes across the Atlantic, they'll find that in Britain today, Remember, remember the 5th of November. People are celebrating the fact that in 1604, a man named Guy Fawkes and his Catholic allies were thwarted in their plan to blow up the Houses of Parliament and install a monarch sympathetic to Catholic rule. In the UK, they celebrate the failure, which was really a very near miss, with bonfires and effigies of Guy Fawkes on the top. Let's hope that in a hundred years, Citizens of the USA will be joining their counterparts in Britain in remembering the 5th of November as the day that foiled a religious takeover of the systems of power. Of course, uh, in a hundred years there won't really be enough oxygen left on the planet to have real fires, so there'll be 3D virtual fire projections and everyone will be throwing virtual effigies of Fat Donny the First on the top as they remember how their democracy was saved after a very near miss. Today is Election Day USA. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Go and vote to save your country. Thank you. Sudoku, the Guardian's medium level puzzle for Tuesday. Let's get on with it, shall we? What can we see? <clears throat> What's around? There's three blocking down here. There's three blocking across here. Puts a three into that square. Three down here, three down here, three in that square. Five across here, five across here for a five in that square. Five blocking across here, so five in one of these two squares in the future. Five blocking up, five up here. There goes a five. Lots of uh, twists and turns here, fives like this. And then fives across here, across here like this, but also across here and up here. So one of these two squares blocking up. Let's continue this one up to the top and that will give me the five there. Like I said, lots of twists and turns there. Seven blocking down to the bottom here and seven across there so get ourselves a seven there four blocking down here four down here and four across there there goes a four a bit noisy outside today excuse me the sound effects they're not mine Oh no, it's getting worse. <laughs> now we've got construction too. Three across and three down gives us three in this square. Three to the top puts three in that square. Oh, 
Ah, oh, just one empty square in this column, isn't there? You didn't tell me. And there you were, just leaving me to my own devices. All right, there's an eight that goes there. Six across here, put six into that square. This is what, one eight? So over here we're looking for four, four three. Doesn't help anyway. <laughs> um, we have four three, that makes sense. We've got one blocking this square, so ones are... Okay, we've got one blocking this square and one blocking here, so that's the one in that row. Seven across here, seven across there for seven here, and this has got to be a nine. Maybe we should wander around by clicking on each digit. For example, that will let us get the one up here. Two's there and there. Okay, we have four blocking this square, four blocking this square and four blocking this square, so in this column here, that's got to be a four. Four across here, across there, and up like so. If you are having a bonfire party in the UK today, remember to stay safe, don't do anything daft. Uh, I don't know if they still have uh, many private parties anymore. I think probably they just have a lot of public displays. I don't know how things have changed in the years since I left. I do remember as a kid enjoying um, Guy Fox night and uh, plenty of fireworks and stuff like that. But um, also I remember the safe, the firework code. Remember to put everything in a tin box and make sure it's secure. Blah, blah, blah. It was very good. Saved a few lives, I think. Seven blocks this square, seven blocks this square. So in this column, there's a seven. Seven across here and there and up there. And of course, I'm not really sure whether so um, fireworks are environmentally a good thing. Probably not. So uh, maybe it's best that we don't have so many, uh, just the odd, uh, um, you know, public display here and there is okay, I think. Eight across here, eight up here. There's an eight. So I know this is two, two and eight in those squares now. So this has got to be six and something. So six across there puts the six there. The something is a nine. two two blocks this square let's say that means that's got to be a two there and for the end of this row five i think is what we need five also blocking this square so here's a five and the last number here one one across there gives us one in that square 
nine blocks down here, there's the nine, this will be a two, two blocks down here, there's our two, and one is the last number to get there. What are we looking for in this square? Only one, uh, only one digit, that's for sure. Uh, I think it's a four. And we've got four blocking down here and ac across here and down here, so there's the four. And we can get this. It's a three, three blocks across there. There's our three, three going up and across these top two rows. Uh, not much more to go now. one blocking down here for a one in this square this is an eight uh, up here we still need I think a two and two across here and up there for a two in that square two across here for a two in that square the missing number here is an eight eight blocking across here here's our eight and to finish that particular block nine nine across here and there so there's our nine one more digit for this row i was going to say three but it's not a three is it um are you a six i think you are oops and what do we need here eight i think so eight blocking down gives us eight in this square and eight blocking down gives us an eight here this is nine. nine, blocking down puts nine into that square and we can finish with a six, so that's it. Don't forget, if you're American, go and vote and save your country. See you around. Bye-bye.